What's going on? Yo, I have a thing about um, <clears throat> backup cameras, and I am addicted to backup cameras now. Uh, ever since I think I saw it on the lawn care rookie one time, I think he was getting one, and man, I just you know, I've been thinking a long time. How in the world can I back up? You know, without having to get back in and out, in and out, in and out, wasting time. You know, getting frustrated and this and that. And so, um, they got a couple of different ways that you can, uh, you know, use to back up. They got like this welded plate thing that if you back up to it you can you know pretty much sandwich yourself into lining it up I've seen people with golf balls um, you know putting it up like high here and then high on the trailer and then kind of matching it up I've put um, what's it called uh, reflective tape on my you know next to the ball and and then on the hitch of the trailer and then matching it up that way um, but nothing to me is better than seeing it. You're also having not to get another guy, you know, to help you. Say you're doing it by yourself is one headache, and then having someone else try to back you up, especially if they haven't backed up uh, a trailer before. You know, they don't. Sometimes they don't know what they're doing. They'll give you kind of weird signals, like throwing up X's um, in the sky, and like, does that mean stop or you know, plane's gonna land? whatever um, but anyways um, I got one system on my truck I think I showed this one time but um, on mine I say mine but on the spray truck I got a wireless system um, so here's the backup camera and basically all it needs is a supply which I just hooked up to a fuse on the load side it is protected and then I grounded it here so it is fused uh, put a put on 10 amp fuse and so and I made a big boo-boo yesterday um, I hooked up my power I'll show you on the back because it's like I said it's wireless and so dang I'm not gonna be able to show you but anyways, um, so on the back of here, you have your, this is, you know, your, obviously your connection to hook up your trailer, your lights, you know, um, and also your, your brake controller, you know, your, if you have, you know, electric brakes. Um, but anyways, um, so man, I'll tell you what I me messed up on. Uh, first I hooked up the ground, which was the black, you know, and I solder all my connections. Um, you know you can just tape them up if you have to just make sure you get a good connection tape them up real good but what I messed up on um, is I hooked up my my power to feed my camera on the red which is you know 12 volt positive which is dumb and so whenever I would just turn on the truck my camera would come on so I couldn't figure it out why but um, all it is is that red that comes off of your camera wire goes into your wire of the um, the backup lamps, you know, your reverse lights. And so that was a light green on a GMC Sierra. And so basically I cut like a, a collar out and then I just wrapped it around and soldered it. But another way to find out is most of the time they got a diagram right here, but it's actually the center tab right here. And then you just trace it on the back side and that center tab went to the green wire so there you go um, like I said this one's wireless so it sends out a transmitter and then well, you can see but I got the transmitter there and then like I said it receives it over here all right so um, this is a smaller camera which is kind of cool um, I got another camera which this sounds bad man but I put the bigger camera 
in my guy's truck. Um, I guess because I want them to see it better. Um, but I need a good place to put it. So this is going to be a wired setup. So I'm going to show you briefly um, how I'm going to hook it up. All right, here we go. All right, so here are the main um, main parts of the wired system for the back backup camera. So you got your wire. This is basically your video and your supply, red and black, you know, positive, negative, and then they'll feed up to your. We'll come all the way back to here where we're going to put it and then it's going to go all the way to the front of where the camera is so here's the camera like i said it's pretty big um and so that gets its own separate power and then here's your video that's coming from the the rear and then you got your base here and then here's the camera which goes right on the license plate which is cool that just holds on there for like anti-glare or whatever but anyways let's go cut that out real quick hey um so I wanted to show you real quick um, these two connections right here are coming out of the camera and I'm gonna run it to the front of the truck but what I want to tell you is I put dielectric grease in here and then I wrap it with uh, tape and then I'm gonna um, then I'm gonna um, zip tie it all the way up to the front we'll find a way in all right all right so we got it um, zip tied underneath. <laughs> Not really um, rubbing anything that would scratch the wire. So the wire's still intact. All the way. And so all that was left up here, found a grommet underneath. It's rubber. And uh, just came out through there. All right, let's keep moving. All right. Oh, man. So. I gotta tell you, I could not find where's my toothpicks. Uh, could not find a good spot to put this camera. You know, if I were to put or camera, uh, yeah, the, the screen for the camera. I figure anywhere I put it on the dash, it's gonna get in his way. You know, get in the driver's way. So I got an idea. I get a lot of them, but check this out man it's a work truck hate on me if you want to but check it out it might just be genius bam I'm gonna put it right there check this out so when he's done with it what where did it go and look it stays bam oh you want to back up the truck you don't need to be looking up forward anyway so there you go here's your camera I'm gonna clean it all up though, make it look nice, son. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and I'm gonna attach it. Like I said, it's a work truck. Gorilla Glue. Original. Let's see if it works or if it's a total crash and burn. All right, cool. So, where we're at, um, so you know I did scratch the surface underneath camera and on the plastic I mean I'm not gonna use that this area anyways there's no mirror there the dude's ugly so ain't worried about looking pretty um, you know cool thing is it can go this way this way it's not one of those ones that go out and then plus it's not that heavy so it's out of the way. How cool is that, man? He's got all his room now. Do whatever. Very cool. I can't wait to take off the tape and then it's dry. Make sure it works. Um, but yeah, I didn't have to use the bracket. Um, so now I hooked up my fuse. You know, it's on the inside of there. Still connected, still safe. Um, so I'm going to secure all of this, tie it up. Um, when I say tie up, I mean using zip ties, um, cleaning it up and that's a wrap, but I'll, uh, 
I'll videotape it later and uh, show you how it works when all the tapes up. All right, later. Good Tuesday morning, beautiful people. This is Matt with Popo and Son Log Care. So, oh man, I finally finished up. I had a bubble there. Um, finally finished up um, my backup camera install and just want y'all to check it out. So, um, as you can see, where is the backup monitor? What the? What is this? Check it out. All right. Only thing that kind of stinks, I guess. It doesn't turn on right away. So you gotta push one button. So let's back up. Oh, yeah. Okay, when you're done, you know. So this basically. You don't need to be looking out all in here. You know, what you're looking at is there. But when you're done, click the button, out of your way. I think it might work. All right, thanks y'all. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Man, I really like making these videos, kinda cool. Um, I wish I would have done it a long time ago, but um, thanks for everybody's watching, and uh, hope everybody has a good day. All right, bye.